Hello and welcome to Animal Watch on tour in Florida, USA. And today I am diving with one of the most gentlest mammals there is, the manatee. Florida in southeastern USA is home to many incredible animals with its marshy Everglades golden sands and warm waters. In eastern Florida lies the Crystal River, home to an animal whose appearance isn't just the strangest but also the cutest, whose personality is gentle and endearing, who is more closely related to elephants than to a walrus or a dolphin and who needs protecting at all costs as he is also a threatened species. Who am I talking about? Yes, it's the perfect gentle giant, the manatee. Today we are out with Captain Chaz of Family Adventure Charters on a private boat just so we can explore deep up into the Crystal River, away from crowds and tourists and hopefully get some beautiful shots and interaction with these mystical creatures. I mean, when I, I think the first one I saw in the water I was like four years old. Wow. So, I, I grew up here, yeah. you know, so, uh, and my dad goes, hey, you got a sea cow behind you. I'm thinking moo. You know, even though I've seen them before, but it definitely scared the hell out of me when I was a kid. We're up at the crack of dawn because this is when the manatees are most active on the Crystal River. It's November time and this is the time when most of them start to come up the Crystal River in order to warm up in the naturally hot springs that come up from the riverbed. Now these animals really need heat for survival. So they come down here and they flock down here in the winter months in groups to feast, to eat, to feed their young. And today I'm really excited and I hope that we're gonna have some wonderful encounters. Oh, look Moving at that, he's so cute. And that's a mom and a calf. Uh, the calf, they're 40 to 80 pounds when they're born. Uh, they're two to three feet long. Uh, they're tiny. And then after a couple of days, because they're, they're, they're kind of fat. And then yeah. after a couple of days, they'll, they'll, they'll blink them out. Uh, but what they'll do is, the baby, after the mom, a after she gives birth, uh, she'll raise the baby up so it can breathe, you know, and you know, they'll, they'll do it on their own But they have a thing called bonding and what the baby will do is Cover every square inch of the mom and go right around and then the mom will cover every square inch of the baby And that lasts for you know, three days seven days uh, It's pretty cool to watch It makes me well up when I actually look at stuff like that and, and um, think of how gentle these creatures are and um, how few creatures there are in the wild that are that trusting to actually allow human contact and to actually get in the water with them today is actually making me quite emotional. <laughs> This is a special protected area because they've got some of the springs in here and the manatees often like to come in and go to sleep. And I'm looking in here right now and there's about four or five maybe asleep on the bottom. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. One of them's covered in barnacles and the water is completely crystal clear. And as you can see, there's a rope around the outside and that's to stop people going in and disturbing the manatees. But we can still pop down here, this side of the rope and have a look at them sleeping. All right, so it's really exciting. We've found some manatees 
sleeping in the area over there so I'm gonna pop in the water it's the first time I've ever met manatees in my life so I'm going in with animal watch cameraman Dom who's got some fantastic equipment here and we hope to get some epic footage for you come on then Dom you first into the freezing water me first yeah <laughs> Oh, it still seeps in, doesn't it? You got your wetsuit on. Oh, sorry. I know. Got to be very quiet when you go over the manatee. See where they're at right now? I go right around the corner. And I'll call you guys if you see one coming up around. Just try not to kick, just use your hands if at all possible. Did you get them? Good angle at them? Yes, we did. We okay. saw the, um, the one with the barnacles yeah. coming up for air and then floating back down again. Yeah, because they're still dead asleep. Just the visibility is a bit cloudy. It's a bit cloudy, that's all. So yeah. it was a bit tricky to get the, I think. Yeah, so we got the sleeping shot. That's brilliant. <laughs> so we're going to go right around the corner. I'm see if we can, back that see if we can get, find yeah. something we could get in the water now with. Yep. Because yeah, all the boats are starting to pile back here now, so we're going to get out. All right, here. yeah, good idea. Go to your left a little bit. Give me a thumbs up when you see them. Go to your left, left, yep, right where you're looking. Head that direction. Manatees are herbivores, with a diet consisting mostly of sea grasses and freshwater vegetation. They can be found in the warm waters of shallow rivers, bays, estuaries and coastal waters. Rarely do individuals venture into waters below 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Well known for their gentle, slow-moving nature, manatees have also been known to body surf or barrel roll when playing. They normally rest and feed often. Manatees communicate by squealing underwater to demonstrate fear, stress or excitement. Their front flippers help them steer or sometimes crawl through shallow water. They also have powerful flat tails that help propel them through the water. Despite their small eyes and lack of outer ears, manatees are thought to see and hear quite well. Like other grazing animals, Florida manatees play an important role in influencing the plant growth in the shallow rivers, bays, estuaries, canals and coastal waters they call home. Well, that was my first time diving with manatees and I've got to say it was a beautiful spiritual experience. Um, they are such gentle, wonderful animals. I, I can't explain what I'm feeling right now. I, um, quite emotional actually it, it, the beauty of watching them under the water and um, I just don't know just like underwater mermaids absolutely beautiful manatees are a protected species so if you're thinking of swimming with manatees then you have to remember there's lots of things that you need to do which of course I will have spoken about in this video and that also 
is when you're out and about just giving them respect in their environment not abusing them not chasing them not frightening them and of course being very very careful when you're in boats and you're using water equipment around them because these animals can get very very easily injured so hopefully I will have covered a few things in this film that will will help you understand a little bit more about how you act around these beautiful creatures if you enjoyed this episode, then please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel by clicking the button in the bottom corner right now. And please remember to tune in every single week when we will be bringing you some fantastic episodes on animals, animal rescue, wildlife and conservation. Bye for now. If you would like to find out more about how you too can swim with manatees, then please visit Family Adventure Charters on www.familyadventurecharters.com. Thank you.